everyone, this is Ellie May with Silhouette Secrets and I have a quick tip for Windows users today. If your computer defaults back to a web browser for opening an SVG file, it is going to show with a web browser icon here. Mine is set at Google Chrome right now, but it could also be Microsoft Edge, it could be Internet Explorer, it could be whatever web browsing um, software your computer has set as the default. This is common for Windows to change the defaults back or if you update say with Windows 11 has just come out when it all processes and is said and done it may have reverted your default for SVG files to a web browser. You will see it as the icon listed here and as an HTML document. That doesn't mean you don't have the SVG file. It's just how a Windows computer is defaulted to read an SVG file. Now what we're gonna do is walk through how you can change this. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this little um, Windows folder icon. I have it at the bottom of my screen, but what you're trying to do is you're gonna open up your file location. So I've opened up this file under my Silhouette Cut files. You can see here, under the file type. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna change this and I have it as details right now. And in order to see exactly the same thing as I have on my screen, you would have to change it to the details view. So then you can see that you have a type, you have a DX, in this instance, I have a DXF file, I have an EPS file, I have a PDF file, I have a PNG file, I have one that is currently reading as an HTML. This is actually your SVG file. And then I have a couple other documents from the design company. In order to change your default program, what we are changing is we are changing how the file opens if you double click on it. So if I double click on this file currently, it's gonna open in Google Chrome. If it opens in a web browser, if the SVG file opens in a web browser, you lose all your SVG properties. An SVG is a scalable vector graphic. This means that it's a cut file for Silhouette users. However, if it opens in the web browser first, you lose all those SVG properties. So it's no longer a cut file when you transfer it to Silhouette, however you are doing that. So you do not want your SVG files opening in the web browser first. I'm gonna close that. How you change it is you're going to right click on your SVG file. You're going to choose properties in the menu. When that comes up, you have an option here that says opens with. Currently it's set on my computer for Google Chrome. You can see here that it shows as an HTML document, which is a Google Chrome file, but it has the SVG file name we are going to click on change. And you can see here in my menu, I have Silhouette Studio already. For most users, you will not see the Silhouette Studio. This is because I have changed back and forth trying to demonstrate this for users. So you will not see Silhouette Studio here most likely. You're going to click on more apps at the bottom of this window. Then you still should not see this. You're gonna to continue to scroll down and you probably will not see Silhouette Studio there either. You're going to click on look for another app on this PC. When you do, you're going to have a Windows folder open. It should default to the Windows C folder, Program Files. Then you're going to scroll down on the right and you're going to open, so you're going to double click on the Silhouette America folder, double click on Silhouette Studio, and then you're going to double click on Silhouette Studio application. You are telling your computer to now use Silhouette Studio to open an SVG file when you double click on it from the Windows folder. So if I click on apply and hit OK, it will now change to open the SVG file, you can see here it says type SVG file, it no longer reads as a web browser, and it shows the silhouette icon. This means if I double click on it, 
it's going to open in Silhouette Studio. I don't have my Silhouette open at the moment, so it's going to open the Silhouette Studio for me. That'll take just a second here. And then we should see this file show up on the design space. So the file opened. If I click on the send tab, you can see that I have the cut lines around my design. If you do not see cut lines, all you're going to do is left click and drag your mouse across everything in the design, and then you're going to choose cut. So if the file opens with no red cut lines, it's going to be designated as no cut. You have to select the entire design. Something on the screen has to be selected in order for you to change the action. Choose cut and your bold red cut lines should show up around your design. If it does not, if it shows up as a square around your design, that means something's wrong. Now, the other thing I want to mention is that in order to open an SVG file, you do need the designer edition upgrade or higher. If your designer edition upgrade, we'll go back here to the software, I'm gonna click on help, click on about Silhouette Studio, and currently it, so I'm a beta tester, so it opened with a beta version because that's the version that is the most active on my um, computer at the moment. It's the highest version. So your number will be a little bit different here. But these little numbers here are what tells me what version you are on. So SSBE, I have business edition. You need designer edition or higher in the upgrades. I will put a link below in order to open the SVG file, which is a cut file directly in the Silhouette Studio software. If for some reason you do have the upgrade, but it's not showing, that means that it is not active and it needs to be reactivated. I will put up links in the description below that tell you how you can reactivate that upgrade. Hope that helps those Windows users. For Mac users, I hope you stuck around to listen to this because you can help your Windows friends out by either relaying the information or passing along this tutorial and blog post. I will have links to the written tutorial in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.